In this video, I'd like to talk to you about a very important element of body language, and that is your hands. What do you do with your hands? Well, for me, I think it's fairly easy. And that is, you have this thing, we call it a neutral position. So between your navel and your belt, you've got maybe six to nine inches here. If you have your hands down here in this neutral position, most people will be focused on your face and on the message. So if the hands are down here, this is really good. If you have high hand gestures, if you obscure your mouth, if you put your hand in front of your face and you've got an audience and they can't see your mouth and they can't see your face, this is going to become an obstacle. This is going to become a distraction. So generally we want to keep our hand gestures down here in this neutral position. One of my favourite uh, body language expressions is this, this one. Just imagine that you've got two invisible springs and that you just pushing down on those invisible springs. Now, what does this suggest? Well, when I ask my students, what does this suggest? They just suggest, well, yeah, it looks like everything's calm. Everything's under control, which is a good place to be when you're standing up in front of people. I like this gesture as well. Just the knuckles, just let the knuckles come together like this and they're, they're nice and relaxed. Then if you wanted to gesture, you can gesture. The hands come apart, it's very easy. If your hands are clasped, if people can see the whites of your knuckles, that's going to make you look like you're under pressure. So that's going to create tension for you as well. It's going to create tension in your hands. It's going to create tension here, here, and all the way across your upper body. Where do you not want tension when you're speaking? Well, you don't want tension in your upper body because this is where all of your vocal apparatus and your respiratory system is in the upper body. So we want to keep the hands apart as much as we can. Keep them down here in this neutral position. That's good. Now, from the navel to the top of our heads, we call this the communication zone. So generally, we want to keep our hands out of here. And that's a really, really good thing because then, as I've already mentioned, people can focus on your face, they can focus on your mouth, and then more importantly, they can focus on the message, which is exactly what they came for.